and we're up and we're off and racing to Beyond Odyssey for our freaking tournament this fine beautiful Friday Saturday fucking Saturday Jesus Saturday the second to go and play Beyond in Flames uh, the traffic is light the intentions are excited and the uh, I've got everything I need here ready to go. I've got me, uh, me army, me books, me bits, me bobs, me freaking uh, breakfast of traveling kings. I've got a Hungry Jack's fat box. And uh, yeah, excited, ready to go. 20 minutes will be there. Fuck yeah, gonna go play me some Horus fucking heresy. Woohoo! Well, I'm here. It also seems like I'm the only one here. I'm a little bit too fucking keen. A little bit too early, a little bit too fucking keen. Nonetheless, gives me some time to read up on some rules, which I'm a bit iffy about. Right, well, all good stories start with the end, so let's start with the end. As uh, at the end of this tournament, we had uh, the best uh, trader was... Uh, Steve with his desk guard, the best loyalist was Dylan with his custodes, the best painted was Nathan with his um, imperial fist, and the runner-up was Nick with his uh, salamanders, and um, the best sportsman was Christian. So, uh, yeah, with those in mind, start having a look at these fucking tables. They were set up fucking just so Mickey Mouse. They're colour-coded. you got a white Arctic one, a yellow desert one, and two temperate fucking field lands to represent the uh, the basic um, environmental areas of this planet this uh, this campaign is on. And um, yeah, they were really well set up. They were really nice. They were pretty. Yeah, we only we were playing on small games of 1,500 points, playing on blocks of four by four. And we had a little area there for the books. It was just it was just really fucking nice. Um, each table had its own little theme area which corresponded to something on the big setup map on the wall uh wrecked hives or manufactorums i think they're called bloody uh points of interest that sort of stuff it was just really nice so yeah they look great um yeah look at that look at that and that was before the war <laughs> oh, what a fucking absolutely great setup. But let's start getting... Oh, uh, no, well, yeah. So on the other side over here is the actual um, the battle map. As you can see, yellow, green, white. And uh, some of the uh, little points of uh, points of victory, like tank case, strategic mastermind. Most dedicated general is for the biggest loser. But let's get into the armies. These are the knights. And I've never seen them on the table before. These were Izzy's, and uh, yeah, he was running, I don't even know what they're all called, five armagers, Helgevrins, and a big fuck-off one with a, with some sort of a power claw. And these, these Yogas, they were so good to fucking look at. They were pretty, and they were monstrous on the table. No idea how he went. Oh, these next ones are the Soul Auxiria by Mark. Now, he apparently used archaic metal miniatures called a Vostrin. Um, and these are all like miniatures that are 20 years old that he's recreated and painted just for this fucking uh, event. And my God, there were so many, so many. It's such a nice look to look at. These were, uh, these were Night Lords by Sam. Didn't actually know how these go went, but they looked like they had a lot of fucking heavy and special weapons, rotor cannons, all that sort of stuff. There's some heavy Volkites in the back. I don't know what the fuck they are. Are they Las Cannons, Rotor Cannons? I don't know, but they look good. Um, I don't know how we went, to be honest. Uh, oh, these are bloody... Uh, the Imperial Fist by Nathan. Now, these won Best Painted. And, and by Christ, and rightly so. You have a look at the detail and just the, the consistency of the yellow, which is notoriously hard to paint. They are fucking fantastic. And, you know, troops too. Lots of troops, not just big vehicles. I mean, you know, Leviathan and a Contemptor there, but every single one is painted to the detail I'd do a character. Uh, coming up next is uh, Seb's Iron Warriors. And just look at this. Look at those two fucking Domitars or Iron Circle, whatever the fuck they are. It's just really nice, man. Everyone had put in such a fucking spectacular effort at them. I mean, you could just sit back and just, every time you look at these armies, you just pick out a new fucking detail. It just blows your freaking away. Uh, these are Ty's Alpha Legion. Um, I played Ty before, and um, God, they're sneaky. Apparently, they, I, I, I don't know if they had that sneak up. If you shoot something, they up and move. 
But uh, that were those bloody speeder bikes. That must have been a devastating army to see on the on the paddock. It looks pretty too, though. It's a lovely metallic colour. Uh, these are Joseph's Sons of Horus. I think he was doing a tank command company. Don't know how he's going to go in the uh, in the bloody Zone Mortalis with so many tanks. But he uh, these these were just beautiful. He won a uh, he won the best painting uh, for a previous tournament with uh, with what he had, and he's just expanded on excellence in this. I mean, look at it. It looks like it looks like such a difficult colour to paint. Ah, so these are Steve's Death Guard. Now I fought these in my second game, and let me tell you, this video does not fucking do them justice. They are just impressive every single one of them it's easy to make grubby look grubby but make grubby look good fucking this man is a master at it and these are just so nice to see uh these are tom's imperial fists and they uh, i've seen tom play like twice now i've not played him myself but these just stand out they are so nice I, I, the, the, the big contemptor up there has got those uh the guns that get stronger the further away you are and uh, oh, they're, they're just pretty. They're so nice. And again, it's freaking another man who's mastered smooth yellow. Uh, and these are uh, Ben's Sons of Horus. Um, these are the ones I placed. Very small list. Very fucking hard to kill. I don't know how he went, but I'm guessing he did really, really well. There's a lot of people fielded some heavy weapons. A lot of heavy weapons. I did not. So uh, I, I'm pretty sure once you freaking get potted by a laser, you're gonna you're gonna lose a good portion of your army. Um, what up here? We got um, oh, we got the Empress Children. These were so nice. These were supposed to be the company of mad musicians, and uh, there was an additional horror. The closer you looked, there was more horror. Like there was this flay dude on the Land Raider. The uh, the, the, the main dude had a bit, bit of skin hanging off him. It was, it, was, it was grotesque and beautiful at the same fucking time. Really nice. Have no idea how they went whatsoever. Mm. Well, yeah, what do we got here? Oh, these are Nick's salamanders. Now, Nick got runner-up in painting for these. And um, this green he paints. It's, uh, it's really, really smooth. I don't know what actual colour it is. I don't know if it's a standard colour. The flames on that bloody contemptor, bloody hell, they popped out at you. You'd, you'd freaking burn your fingers if you picked up that model. Uh, and, um, yeah, the uh, I do recall him talking on chat about gluing the wings on one of those bloody speeder bikes freaking backwards, but no one noticed when the paint job is that good. Next up is, um, oh, what do we got here? Oh, this is Tom's Traitor Ultramarines, the ones that kicked my ass in two turns. Oh, Caesarans, we got Volkites, we got a couple of units of tax in there. Um, oh, just, how can you stand up against that? It's just brutal. It's just brutal. And, you know, I'm a, I, love a good, I love a good troop army, and this was nothing but foot soldiers. Oh, I love that. Um, next up is uh, Christian's Ultramarines, who have fought on two occasions now. And yeah, the, the, those bloody Castaferums which kick my ass every fucking time they're on the bloody paddock. Oh, they're so hard to get rid of. Um, I, I, I don't, I know we had the, um, I'm not sure, oh yeah, there they are, the laser cannons and a pair of bloody, and the pair of bloody Scorpiuses. Just heavy hitting, freaking nearly insta kill anything that's on foot. It's, uh, it was a good army. I've always liked his list building. Uh, I really do like it. And you can see he's made a big effort in the painting. Uh, the next up is uh, these Dark Angels. Oh my goodness, these were so nice. I think these were, I think these were Oliver's. But um, yeah, he'd spent a lot of time putting the effort in, researching his, uh, researching his images, just making sure that they were freaking correct to the law. These are the traitor Lutherian Dark Angels. And um, yeah, I've got something to say. I love troops. I love a big troop army. Um, now, this was the um, Dylan's Custodes. These are the best fighters in the uh, for the Imperium, or fucking for the Loyalists in this game. They never lost a battle. Apparently, once they got, they were just impossible to kill, and once they got an objective, they just wouldn't move. And the next is one of the most impressive armies. It was a Orc army uh, run as Militar, and it was just wave 
after wave, after wave, after wave, after wave. As, as I pull back here on the video, just check out how immense this fucking army truly is. It was a spectacular layout of everybody's efforts. Uh, just bloody gold all round. Well done, chaps. Every one of you are fucking champions. It was a so they were the mighty fucking armies of the 1500 point Beyond Odyssey, Beyond In Flames tournament. Here's the uh, map, world map, uh, depicting our wins and losses as we proceed through the rest of the campaign. And uh, yeah, they represent the th four tables they've got on the, on the gaming floor. Also got a little bit of a picture coming up of the uh, Zane Mortalis, and that looks magic. But the real treat for me was although i played the games on saturday sunday was father's day and i got to spend the entire day with bubs listening to laughter and having a great old time as all dad should i spent my day listening to this hey. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah kitty yeah!